Well, hello there. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right so far. It's the beginning of the day, so I'm going to get out this quick video so that if you are looking for some interesting content that you might have missed on YouTube, here's a recommendation for me from Get Smarter, my series. The first thing that I want to just remind you guys is that there is an entire playlist of videos that when I think that something is new and unusual or interesting or whatever, I will put it into my Get Smarter Recommended Videos playlist. And that is just so that for every video you can um, oh, you know, go back and as long as it's still online, it's, it's listed here, it's sort of curated in that way. The video that I want to recommend to you today comes from a group, their website, or sorry, their YouTube channel, the YouTube channel of the RSA. And I, I wanted to look this up to be or uh, make sure I was precise in what their name was, because RSA kind of hides the full length of their name. It's the Royal Society for the Encouragement of Arts, Manufacturers, and Commerce. They have a really nice animate series on their website where they have taken some speakers, and I'll just run play here, it's on mute, so it shouldn't be a problem. But they have the speakers come and give a talk at their organization, and then they do this thing where they write up uh, an animated version of the talk. And so it's a nice way to stay visually engaged. The artist is, does a really nice job. And it also allows you to listen to the talk and have it visualized for you. Which is a, it's a really nice, n nice technique. I'm going to pause this now. The person whose talk I want to recommend is Slavoj Zizek whom I will now refer to as Zizek because I'm not confident that I pronounced his first name correctly, although I did practice and I looked it up to try to be sure. But Zizek is a, a, a very well-known thinker in, uh, the, in Europe and probably in parts of America as well. I, don't, I can't speak to oops, outside noise in my place. I can't really speak to how well he's known in the States just because I don't have first-hand experience. When I was a postdoc at Birkbeck, he would give a, he, and he might still give an annual lecture there uh, at the law school at Birkbeck. There's a, an association that Zizak had at that time and might still have with Birkbeck where he would come and give a talk and they have like a conference once a year with him. And he's an, a very interesting thinker. He's a person who I thinks outside the box, I guess, when it comes to the way that he approaches questions. And it's not, everything he said isn't brilliant. There are a lot of things with which I disagree with on um, in terms of what Zizek says, but he is a very provocative thinker, I think, and that is why I wanted to recommend him, because in this talk, first is tragedy and then is farce, he talks about charitable giving in a way that when he first presented it, I hadn't really thought about, but to be honest, now every time I think about uh, corporate social responsibility or anything to do with um, charitable organizations in a capitalist system, I have to admit Zizek's ideas in this talk uh, come up and they're, they're, I don't want to say influential, but they've certainly made me think about the structure of charitable giving. And so that's why I want to recommend this talk because uh, if nothing else, you know, you might not have thought about uh, the chair, the uh, the way that charity works within a capitalist economy and whether or not it can really solve the problems. And the other thing too is if you like this, this video is 10 minutes and 56 seconds long. It's great video, it's great audio because they've done a professional jobs, job at the RSA. If you want to see the full talk though, that's also available on their channel. That's one the, That one is a bit longer, almost 30 minutes in length for that one. And it's also not animated, it's just Zizek in front of the mic. And he's um, he's kind of an interesting man, he's got a lot of quirks and he phys phys physically, um, he's very, he moves around a lot. He's very kinetic, I guess, is a, is a nice way that you could, you know, it's a, an accurate way to, to describe his, his presentation style. He's very kinetic when he is speaking. And that would be about it now. For those of you who are just looking for some videos, I'm going to end it there because um, that's what the recommendation is for this time. Go learn about Zizek's take on the critique of charitable giving in the current modern uh, capitalist societies. For those of you who are interested in just a little update, uh, let me just go uh, casual. Okay, um, so just very quickly, I haven't had a chance to get videos out this week, mostly because 
Last week, three of my friends had a birthday. <laughs> I had one friend with a birthday on Tuesday, another one on Wednesday, another on Thursday, and then I met some friends on Friday, got together with a different friend on Saturday, and went for a birthday brunch on Sunday. I was very social last week, and I'm finding that this week on Monday and Tuesday, when I get back from work, I just want to zone out. I don't have the energy to be on camera. That's why I've not made any videos yet this week, and when I did make a video, I thought a Get Smarter would be a nice way to ease myself back in. The other thing that I want to say is I'm leaving this weekend for uh, a workshop in Italy, so I won't have regular access or reliable access that I know of yet to the internet. What I'm planning on doing uh, tomorrow and maybe this evening is recording a few more Get Smarter episodes and other short things that I can put up uh, on a scheduled release for next week while I'm gone because I won't have an opportunity to be home to make videos. However, I do have uh, at least you know half a day that I know of and possibly another half day to wander around Pisa where I will be. And I've done video postcards now from um, from Vienna and I think I've done a video postcard from someplace else. I'm thinking about doing another video postcard from Pisa. So you guys can have, you know, if you're interested in the travel videos, you can have a look at that when it comes up. And other than that, I guess the, the next big thing on April 30th is going to be the debate with um, Sargon on the Skeptic Feminist channel. And those are the really kind of the big things coming up between now and the rest of the month. So I'm going to be, again, gone for most of next week, but I will put in some content pre-planned to keep you guys uh, at least watching other things that are interesting if I can't make them myself. That was about it, really. So until next time, I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Have great rest of the day or evening or whatever else time it is where you are. Have a great sleep. Have a great work day. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.